Armed with military personnel and assets, equivalent to the entire air force of a country, the USS Theodore Roosevelt is nicknamed a floating military base. The United States nuclear-powered aircraft carrier appeared in the waters south of Jeju Island. Nuclear-powered carriers like the Theodore Roosevelt carry about 70 to 100 aircraft. When deployed on a mission, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is accompanied by two or three destroyers, a submarine, and a combat support ship. An aircraft carrier is staffed with about 6,000 crew members. There is also a post office on it. The Theodore Roosevelt once received 12 tons of mail following the completion of its COVID-19 quarantine. Five dentists and six medical doctors are stationed. The carrier holds at least 90 days of food supplies for a crew of 6,000. How much does it cost to send an aircraft carrier on a mission? It is widely known that a U.S. carrier, once deployed, uh, spends up to $2 million a day just in operating uh, the carrier itself. It is known that the hourly costs to fly a U.S. strategic bomber amount to somewhere between $40,000 and $130,000. If they are deployed to the Korean Peninsula, it costs as much as 1.69 million U.S. dollars per bomber. It further increases when operational costs for aerial tankers and escort aircraft are included. The cost could be as high as $100 million for the exercise alone. So it's very difficult to put an accurate number on the actual price, but that's a good ballpark figure. Usually it is not included in the cost sharing uh, arrangement or discussions. That may change in the future, but it is a very costly affair. It is not simple to calculate the costs for operating strategic assets. But one thing is clear, that the amounts are far greater than expected.